What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive classes. Finally, I know you've been asking for them. I had them recorded, files got corrupted, it was at my dad's, so I couldn't re record them until now. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the SD portion of my classes, and when they all pop up, you know, give me a chance, because at the end I'm going to show you two other classes as well, because I've got some, some classes that I'll rotate between, so just be patient for those. So, starting out, I've got my AR slaying class, and this is basically just to stay alive. I've got the Remington, the Ice Camo, I've got Ice Camo on all my guns right now, uh, Blue Dot, and Grip, and then perks are Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Focus, Tack Resist, and Blast Shield, and then Strike Package, of course, you know, you always leave the third one blank, and then I've got ICU, Marathon, and then, you know, you can you can see them all. I'm not going to go into the ones for the Strike Package, because, you know, it's, it's all personal preference on those, it's just whatever you feel is necessary for coming up next. I have ICU first to increase my survivability again. So yeah. Next class is one of my more used classes. Um, it's just a quicker moving class with some stuns and nades on it. So yeah, it, it's got the agility on there. And uh, I've got ready up and incog for my first part of the strike package there. So pretty much same class, just a few minor differences. It's just, uh, I, I like I like this class a lot. It's, it's one I use quite a bit. And then I've got my Thermal AR class. And same sort of thing, only with the Thermal. And th the smoke here, sometimes I will take that off and put on a nade. It depends on the map. If it's Octane, I'm keeping the smoke. Um, and then, you know, just whatever strategies we're going to be doing. So I, you can switch it back and forth, whatever you're most comfortable with. And, of course, I have Incog so that I can't be seen. And then I've got Blast Shield and Attack Resist as the first part of my specialist. Alright, next class is my special 1 class, and I also have special 2 and special 3, and those are the other classes I'm going to be showing you in, once I'm done with this short list here. So, this is the shotgun class, and basically the special classes are ones that somebody on the team needs to be running, at least one of them, because they are very, very useful, but you don't want to use them necessarily on every map, or you don't want everybody to have a class with them, so you know you can just trade them out. So. We got the Bulldog, Ice Camo of course, and then we got Muzzle Break and Extended Mags just so that you can spray them down and everything. For perks, I, I completely decked myself out with perks on this. Um, you could run a secondary or a lethal or a tactical, it's, it's preference, but this is just being able to get in there quick and kill people. So I got Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, and Attack Resist. You may have noticed I don't have Focus. You don't need to focus with this. Um, this is a hip fire weapon. Just go in there and spray. This is mainly for the map Sovereign. If you guys haven't figured out yet, S and D Sovereign. You want to pull this bulldog out, and you just want to get in that building and kill people. So you know this this one. I'm not going to be slowed down. The only thing that's going to kill me is a nade or any long range engagements. So it's, it's a fairly fairly safe class in my opinion for Sovereign at least, and maybe maybe a few special rushing strategies that you may have on other maps as well but we won't get into that right now all right next class is my vector class and you know ice blue dot grip and then i've got a simtex and a concussion of course these are preferences you can put on what you want then i got ready up marathon steady aim dead silence and focus and i know some people don't like to run the ready up steady aim combination on the vector they like to put quick draw on instead I don't feel like it's really necessary though, I, I like to run it like this. I use this as a more aggressive submachine gun class than my MTAR class, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this one is for any rushing that I might be doing in s and uh, if I don't want to use a shotgun, so yeah, that's what this class is for. And of course, strike package right there, blast shield, attack resist, and then, you know, the bonus. And then my MTAR class, and remember this is not the last one because I got two more to show you. My MTAR is basically the same thing as my Vector class, it's just it's it's better at a distance. Um, it's actually exactly the same except for the weapon. So, yeah, you know, just getting in there quick and killing people. Alright, so now, let me see, I'm going to go down to this person. I just have it set up here so that I can show you. The special two class is actually an LMG class, and this may surprise some people, but we got the thermal and grip, just so that you know you can keep your aim on. And then agility, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and blast shield. So 
you kind of need agility with an LMG because you're just so slow moving. It's absolutely ridiculous. It lets you get out of some situations sometimes. So, you know, it's it's always good. Uh, you know, some people might sacrifice some of that to get incog right away. I, I prefer to just get incog later. Um, I've got it as the first one and then ready up and then my bonus. This class is for playing extremely passive. Uh, it's good on maps such as Octane or if you're playing back on Sovereign and you don't want a sniper. Um, you know, just situations like that. Maybe a Warhawk if you want to look over some long ranges and whatnot. I mean, it's it's people don't expect it usually, so it's it's a nice little class to throw out. Of course, if you want, you can put on like a trophy or whatever. It's just whatever your team needs you to run. So yeah, and then the last special class is my sniper overkill class, and this is probably the most personal preference class you can have. Uh, when it comes down to a sniper, it's whatever you really want to put on it. Uh, for me, of course, I've got the MTAR first so that I can have two attachments on it, and then the sniper with variable zoom. And not everybody likes variable zoom. Some people like the thermal. I I don't know. I don't snipe too much. That I usually don't put on this class, but this is this is what I would normally run on it. And then quick draw, dead silence, overkill, focus, and then you know I get incog way way later on at a at the bonus. So. Uh, you know, you might want to change this up if you are planning on doing the pre-snipes and whatnot. Um, you, you, you might want that incog, so you, you, what you might have to do there is just have a sniper and then a pistol. But, um, you know, I don't pull this class out very often, but yeah. So the three special classes, you just want somebody on, you know, each per three three people on your team need to have the class in there. Like one of them, like one person have the shotgun. One have the LMG and one have the sniper. Generally, though, I would have, uh, you know, you can double up then with your fourth. He can have a, another one of whatever. And of course, you know, personalize it, do what you want with it. But uh, yeah, that's all the classes for you guys. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time in the comment section below. And I forgot the rest of my outro. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I think I got close. I don't know. We'll see.